Hello, welcome to the Super Wednesday of NBA Spotlight. Today, we have a very unique set of events. We're going to be starting with the wonderful INSEAD admissions team, followed by MIT Sloan, Goizueta, and at 10 a.m. Pacific, a session on how to pay for business school. Then at 11 a.m., Suvik will come back to interview tech project management managers about how they got into Apple, Amazon, Facebook, and Google. Again, you do not want to miss this session at 11 a.m. Pacific. Also, today we're going to be trying something very new with the NCI team. We'll be playing a pre-recorded video presentation, and while the video is going, the admissions team will be, able to, will be available to answer questions in the YouTube chat. If you like this video, please like it. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't. We're trying a few things, and we appreciate the feedback. And if you have not yet done it, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. We'll be starting the presentation in just a minute, and you are welcome to start posting your questions in the YouTube chat. This is it from me, Nancy, or Mike, sorry, please go ahead. Thank you, so welcome uh, welcome everyone, and uh, really delighted to have you with us today. And if we can go to, um, to the video, then we'll go straight over to the questions afterwards. Thank you. Welcome to this overview of the INSEAD MBA. My name is Aidan O'Halloran, and I'm a member of the degree programs team here at INSEAD. I'm here today to introduce the INSEAD MBA and to share with you what I think makes the INSEAD MBA unique. First of all, INSEAD is a mission-driven institution. So before we start, let's take a moment to take a step back in history and understand that mission. So in the year 1957, People all around the world are still recovering from the destruction of World War II. But there is a growing segment of the population that is beginning to develop a sense of optimism and a desire for reconciliation. Georges Doriot, a renowned professor from Harvard Business School and a pioneer in the venture capital industry, is among these optimists. He envisions the creation of an international business school that would bring people together and use business as a lever for peace and prosperity. He begins to develop plans for an institution that could both stimulate economic growth and inspire international cooperation. Like Dorio, the first participants at INSEAD were exceptionally dedicated to this mission. They believe that business could succeed where politics had failed. They affirmed that Europe needed what INSEAD offered, a revolutionary model for management education that was international, independent, diverse, close to business, and propelled forward by an entrepreneurial spirit. So on the day of INSEAD's inauguration, Georges Dorio actually received a letter from US President Eisenhower that stated that this institute is destined to play a creative role in the economic affairs of Europe and the world. Today, INSEAD's vision endures. We believe now, as Dorio did back in 1957, that business can and must serve as a force for good. Just as in 1957, today's global society is grappling with a number of difficult challenges, from climate change to geopolitical conflicts to widespread inequality. And for our part, INSEAD is dedicated to preparing future leaders to face those challenges with courage and conviction by bringing together people, cultures, and ideas to develop responsible leaders who will transform business and society for the better. Perhaps by the end of this video, you may be interested in joining this community and helping to drive this mission forward. Today, I'm speaking to you from the wonderful campus here in Singapore. INSEAD is an incredible global learning community with campuses in France, Singapore, and Abu Dhabi. It's important to know that INSEAD is just one independent global institution with campuses all around the world. INSEAD takes care to ensure an equal educational experience on all campuses so that students have the same quality of learning no matter which campus they choose. When looking at business schools, most of you will have to select either a campus or a city environment to study in. And the beauty of INSEAD is that you can choose both and more. So established in 1957, the INSEAD Europe campus is based in Fontainebleau, France, just south of Paris. The INSEAD Europe campus offers you the quintessential campus experience, a beautiful space to escape the big city corporate life, reflect, learn, grow, and establish deep connections with your classmates that will become friends for life. The INSEAD Asia campus, based in Singapore, was established in the year 2000. The campus was built in a unique location, 
ideal for connecting with the thriving startup scene located directly opposite the campus, as well as being surrounded by many of the Asia Pacific head offices for large corporates, tech and healthcare companies. Benefiting from Singapore's warm climate and culturally rich environment, as well as the economic and political stability, the campus is extremely convenient for connecting with business and traveling throughout the region. The INSEAD Middle East campus, based in Abu Dhabi, is located in the midpoint between the city's downtown district, the fast-growing Al Reem Island, and the thriving cultural district of Sadia Island. The campus has incredible views of the city and provides students with opportunities to develop your understanding and networks in this unique and fast-paced region. And the world's most international business school is now also in North America with the San Francisco Hub for Business and Innovation. Launching in February 2020, the hub marks the school's first permanent facility in North America. Now, historically, INSEAD has opened locations at the right place and the right time in centers of growth and innovation. By opening doors in San Francisco, INSEAD is tapping into the cutting edge of tech, venture finance, entrepreneurship, and sustainability in the Bay Area. During your time at INSEAD, you could have the opportunity to spend time on multiple campuses around the world. Not only are there opportunities to exchange between the INSEAD campuses, but we also partner with schools such as Kellogg and Wharton in the US, as well as SEEBS in China, to provide even more international exchange opportunities for our MBA students. So what makes the INSEAD MBA unique? First and foremost, this program will give you an opportunity to expand your perspective like no other. You'll be able to pursue new interests, rediscover old passions, and experience more new exciting cultures than you ever have before. The incredible diversity at INSEAD will expose you to different ways of seeing the world, ways that will challenge your current point of view, push you out of your comfort zone, and support you to grow as a person. The INSEAD culture is incredibly collaborative. Our teaching methodology focuses on collaborative learning, working with small study groups where each member will likely be from a different country with a different professional background. You can benefit and learn from their strengths and they will rely on you for the same, all the while being guided by our world-class faculty. You'll build connections that last a lifetime. The particular intensity of the INSEAD MBA experience binds our class together and no one takes their time for granted. Throughout the experience, you'll forge new friendships and become an active member of this collaborative and supportive global community. You will of course be supported to realize your career aspirations. Our friendly and proactive career development team will help you to craft your career roadmap, reflecting on what's really important to you and guide you towards securing your ideal career. Finally, you will cultivate your own leadership style. You will develop your communication and interpersonal skills throughout our personal leadership development program, helping you to develop into the influential and responsible leader that this world needs. So you're probably listening, thinking, am I the right profile for the INSEAD MBA? Or what is the ideal profile? And the fact is that INSEAD values diversity. There are more than 90 nationalities at INSEAD with students from a wide range of professional backgrounds. There is no dominant culture at INSEAD in contrast to many schools around the world. And everyone here is a minority. We ensure that this diversity is equally represented across all the campuses. There is no ideal industry, age, nationality, or mold that you need to fit into to be suitable for INSEAD. This school cares about your unique journey through life as we put each unique piece of the puzzle together to build each class. To give you an idea of the kind of community you'll be joining, you can see that most of our candidates choose to join the INSEAD MBA when they have between three to eight years of professional experience. Less than two would be more suitable for our master's in management program. And if, for example, you have nearer to 13 years of experience, you may feel more suited to our executive MBA options. Again, these are not hard minimums or maximums. There is no specific age that is ideal to pursue an MBA. It really depends on when you feel you have enough real world experience to be able to come and contribute to the classroom discussions, but you still feel as though you are ambitious for your career and aware of the gaps in your knowledge that you wish to fill. The INSEAD MBA has 350 female participants, which interestingly is more than the total size of many other European MBAs. This results in INSEAD being one of the top three providers of female MBA talent in the world. Built on INSEAD's core organizational value of diversity and decades of gender diversity efforts, INSEAD's gender initiative integrates research, 
business and teaching to support gender equality. The INSEAD MBA Women in Business Club is an incredible community of women and men dedicated to this cause. They host a number of activities throughout the year, including an annual conference on both campuses, bringing together influential speakers on the topic. One point to clarify is that there are two intakes for the INSEAD MBA. One intake in January with a graduation in December and the other intake in September with a graduation in July. However, the exception is that the January intake has a summer experience period in the months of July and August, where students can pursue an internship or, for example, join the INSEAD Summer Startup Tour. To show you how this all fits together, the INSEAD MBA is split into five periods of two months each. The INSEAD experience actually begins before period one in what we creatively call period zero. In the months leading up to the start of the INSEAD MBA, you will begin connecting with the careers team and perhaps even joining pre-MBA careers treks, focusing on particular industries to different cities around the world. There are a number of activities that take place during period zero, including language courses for those of you who want to secure your third language before the intensity of the program begins. During the first two periods, you'll be completing your core MBA courses. These are the foundation of your MBA. You will work closely with your study group during the first two periods, which is why all students remain on their home campus for both of these periods and can only start to exchange campuses after these. As you progress through your MBA into period three, the program becomes more flexible and you're able to start selecting electives. INSEAD offers more than 75 incredible electives in different areas taught by our world-class experts. The important thing to keep in mind is that the NCAD program is a generalist management MBA aimed at developing your ability to be a more st effective strategic leader. You are not required to declare a focus in one area, such as finance or entrepreneurship, that would limit your elective options. You're free to craft and create your own experience as you see fit, experiencing an eclectic mix of subject areas that you feel will best support your skills development and career opportunities. Throughout your MBA, we will also be able to benefit from our incredible personal leadership development program. The program runs alongside the course of study. It begins before you arrive on campus and continues throughout the INSEAD MBA program. It consists of personal and interpersonal assessment tools, communication awareness, leadership skills development, as well as professional and peer-based feedback on existing experiential learning opportunities, such as simulations, role plays, and group exercises. Through personalized coaching, interpersonal skills development activities, and communication proficiency workshops, the program will help you to achieve a new level of excellence in personal and interpersonal awareness, as well as communication effectiveness. The INSEAD MBA provides a balanced experience of intensive collaborative learning, as well as community building and deeply enriching social activities. There is a diverse range of professional clubs, such as the energy, healthcare, and consulting clubs, and many more to help you to build connections and advance your career in a certain sector. There are also clubs such as the Endeavor Social Impact Club or the INSEAD Women in Business Club that attract incredibly passionate and inspiring participants seeking to change the world for the better. There are also sports and social clubs that you can join to help you to pursue your passions and even discover new ones. The incredible thing about the INSEAD MBA is the fact that the two intakes overlap providing continuity for clubs and helping to foster a lasting INSEAD culture passed from class to class. The incredible diversity at INSEAD is also celebrated through our national weeks in which different cultures are given a spotlight. Your classmates will come to campus in their traditional clothes, share their unique cuisines, and even may put on cultural performances to further broaden your awareness of different cultures from all around the world. One thing that I'm particularly proud of at INSEAD is that partners and families are welcomed. More than this, they become part of the INSEAD community, spending time on campus and benefiting from this life-changing experience. The school works hard to ensure that they are included. And as many MBA participants bring their children with them too, the campuses are built with family areas, including spaces for feeding, changing, and playing with the little ones. The INSEAD campuses are a wonderful, welcoming environment for the whole family. One of the standout factors for INSEAD, an independent, standalone, 10-month MBA, is the incredible career success that our graduates achieve. The INSEAD reputation is one of the best in the world among companies that recruit MBA talent. 
More than 580 companies recruit from INSEAD annually and see the school as an ideal place to recruit internationally minded talent that can solve problems, lead diverse teams and handle intensity. Of a recent class surveyed, nearly 80% changed either their sector, location or function immediately after graduating, with nearly 30% changing all three factors. This is of course a very challenging career transition to make, but the fact that so many graduates have been able to achieve such incredible career transitions through a 10 month program speaks volumes to the strength of the INSEAD MBA reputation, the supportive alumni networks and the incredible work done by our Career Development Center. Whereas many other top schools will have 80% or more of their class ending up working in the school's home country, INSEAD helps students to secure jobs in more than 60 countries around the world. You can see the average alumni salary three years after graduation, as reported by the Financial Times, is over 180,000 US dollars. This is despite the fact that many of our alumni will choose to pursue careers in developing countries. Now, INSEAD has a reputation for being the premier school for helping graduates advance their careers in consulting. Now, this may be true. However, INSEAD also has an incredible track record of helping graduates to advance their careers into finance, tech, energy, and a wide range of different corporate sectors. One area that I would like to highlight is the incredible success of INSEAD entrepreneurs. According to PitchBook, INSEAD is by far the number one MBA outside of the US for supporting entrepreneurship. We have incredible success stories such as TransferWise and Redmart, even Prodigy Finance, the organization that you may use to fund your MBA, were all launched by NCAD MBA alumni. INSEAD entrepreneurs have raised more than 10 billion US dollars in venture capital funding in recent years. The vibrant entrepreneurial community and incredible support from the INSEAD Entrepreneurship Center through initiatives such as the INSEAD Entrepreneurs in Residence. This program connects experienced entrepreneurs with MBA students in a personalized one-on-one -on -one setting to discuss entrepreneurial topics of the students choosing. Our entrepreneurs in residence, many of whom are INSEAD alumni, volunteer their time on campus to share their experience and their expertise and provide students with direct feedback on entrepreneurial topics in all stages of the entrepreneurship journey. The success of our alumni displayed speaks for itself. I would also like to point out the Financial Times report on which business schools produce the most CEOs. INSEAD is second only to Harvard, ahead of both Stanford and Wharton who share third place. This again is an incredible achievement for an independent business school that focuses on diversity, supporting more than 90 nationalities to pursue careers all over the world in many different sectors. So after this introduction to INSEAD, hopefully you are now considering joining this community and are wondering how to navigate the admissions process. The application process is straightforward. You will need to complete an online application form, as well as providing either a GMAT or GRE score, your academic transcripts, language certificates if they're required, and two references. The application can actually be an enjoyable experience as it provides you with an opportunity to reflect on your achievements and your failures, your strengths and your skills gaps, as well as reflecting on your career trajectory and your plans for the future. A note on the GMAT, it is important to clarify that we have no specific minimum required score. Too many potential applicants self-exclude and do not even try to apply because they have not yet achieved a score that's, for example, equal to our class average. It is always best not to rush. Take your time to prepare until you have reached the best score you feel you can achieve, and then allow the admissions committee to consider your case holistically. You can see from the class profile of 2019 that we accept candidates with a range of scores, as the GMAT is not the only factor we consider. That being said, we do recommend working hard, taking the time to prepare, and aiming for a balanced score above the 70th percentile for both verbal and quant if possible. Again, this is not a minimum requirement, but a benchmark to aim for and hopefully surpass. INSEAD has a truly holistic approach to admissions. Your entire profile is considered carefully by our admissions committee and they make decisions on who to admit based around the following four factors. First of all, academic capacity. This area is considered to ensure that applicants can handle the academic rigor of this world-class intensive program. Academic capacity is divided into two areas, the first being your GMAT or GRE score and the second being your prior academic achievements. Second is leadership potential. Here we are trying to identify your potential as a future leader. 
You can demonstrate your leadership potential by sharing examples of leading on a project, leading a team, or even managing a budget. You can also give evidence from your personal life. For example, if you have experience leading a sports team or even on a charitable project. However, we understand that you are very busy professionals working hard and probably do not have much time for these kinds of social activities. It is also a good opportunity to reflect on what kind of leader you want to be, keeping in mind the mission of INSEAD as mentioned at the start. Our hope is that through the INSEAD experience, you will develop your capabilities as a responsible leader to create positive impact in the world, no matter which industry you join, as many of our alumni have already done. Third is your ability to contribute. As the committee are piecing together this incredibly diverse community, they will want to know what you are bringing to the table that will add value for your fellow classmates. Much of the learning that comes out of the MBA is from discussions with your classmates. They will want to be able to learn from your insights and experiences as you would expect the same from them. If you have worked on some interesting and unique projects that have given you a niche insight into a particular area, this could really help justify why you deserve a place on this class and what your classmates can benefit by having you there. Fourth is international motivation. The key word here is motivation. Some of you may have had the opportunity to live, study and work in many different countries around the world, which is excellent. Some of you would not have had this opportunity yet. Regardless of this, we need to understand what your international motivation is. Hopefully, your motivation to understand different cultures, discover different international opportunities, and develop your international network is a key reason why you're considering INSEAD in the first place. You will need to show us this. You can tell us where you have lived, where you have traveled, even on holiday. And if you have worked in a diverse team or communicated with clients from different cultural backgrounds, this will help to show that you have the intercultural communication skills to thrive in the world's most diverse top MBA. Most importantly, you should be genuine and sincere with your application. Be honest about your strengths and your failures, as well as your future career aspirations, as the admissions process is not just there to ensure that you are suitable for the program, but also to ensure that the program is suitable for you. Within a few hours of submitting your application form, you will receive a link to the video interview. The video component is required to start the evaluation of your application. We are keen on getting to know you better and believe that through the video, you can come to life. So be spontaneous, be creative and be yourself. The duration of each video question is one minute and you have four questions to answer. You do get 45 seconds to prepare for each video question and you can take as many practice questions as you like. And these aren't seen by the committee, but for the real ones, you just get the one go. The international element of INSEAD with over 90 nationalities is core to the school's DNA. The language policy is a key part of that focus. All students at INSEAD need to provide two languages to enter the program and a third language at at least a basic level to graduate. All candidates must have a fluent level in English. This is either your native language or proven via a university degree taught in English or an English language exam, such as IELTS or TOEFL. A candidate also needs to validate at least a practical level of knowledge of a second language. This is often your native language if your mother tongue is not English. These two languages are referred to as your entry languages. Now, all candidates must also validate at least a basic level of understanding of a third language before graduation. And this is referred to as your exit language. Given that the program is very intense, we would encourage you to do your best to meet your exit language requirement before starting the MBA. To do this, many students choose to join intensive language courses run by our official language training partner on campus in France or Singapore prior to the start of the program. For up-to-date details and guidance on the INSEAD language policy, please check our language policy document, which is available on the website. Once you have chosen your preferred intake and submitted your application, INSEAD will conduct a thorough admissions review, which lasts approximately 10 weeks. If you are successfully shortlisted, you will be invited to participate in two separate interview discussions with alumni. These interviews are an excellent opportunity for an open and honest discussion about your past experience, future aims, and suitability for INSEAD. These usually take place in your country of residence. Our alumni are wonderful ambassadors for the school, so you can take this opportunity to also ask them a few questions to make sure the school is the right choice for you. If you would like to see the most up-to-date admissions deadlines, take a look at our website. There you will find four rounds for each intake during which you can apply. 
Keep in mind that there is no real difference in terms of competitiveness between the four rounds. And I would encourage you to apply only once you feel your application is strong enough as the selection process is very competitive. It is not advisable to rush for an earlier deadline if you feel as though you can still improve your application. However, if scholarships are a priority, please note that the majority of scholarships are allocated in the earlier rounds. Speaking of scholarships, INSEAD's goal is to recruit the best and brightest talent to join our school, regardless of their backgrounds or financial situations. There are over 100 types of scholarships available, which you can apply for if you've been shortlisted for an interview. Over the last three years, we have more than doubled our scholarship funds, which has enabled us to offer higher grants to more participants. We currently offer over 5 million euro of scholarships annually, with 30% of the MBA class receiving scholarship funding. Now, the average scholarship amount is just over 18,000 euro, but this amount does vary depending on the scholarship. There are three categories of INSEAD scholarships. The first is need-based. These are awarded to students who can demonstrate financial need. For this, applicants must provide accurate financial information by submitting a number of supporting documents. The second is non-need-based scholarships. These are granted based on academic merit, nationality, gender, professional background, and leadership abilities, or any combination of these criteria. This includes applications from women, the LGBTQ community, nationals of developing countries, entrepreneurs, and professionals from non-business backgrounds, such as doctors, lawyers, artists, and researchers. And finally, there are spot scholarships. Now these are awarded upon admissions and without the need for an application. These scholarships are given on the spot for exceptional students. Successful candidates will receive notification of this award around the time you receive your admissions decision. Finally, the INSEAD Alumni Network is an incredibly collaborative and diverse, globally connected community. With more than 60,000 alumni distributed across 175 countries with 166 nationalities, our alumni are citizens of the world. This is an important factor for those of you who are planning international careers with significant amounts of mobility. In today's rapidly changing business environment, lifelong learning is essential for the sustained success and growth of our alumni so that they can be a force for good in the world. INSEAD curates new, impactful online and in-person learning experiences for alumni, not just on campus, but off campus around the world. INSEAD also invests in lifelong career support for alumni at each stage of your career. The school provides a world-class career development offering for the global INSEAD alumni community, including in-person specialist career coaching sessions for alumni. In the end, such a vast professional network is a valuable asset to graduates, both during your initial job search and beyond as you further your career, move countries, or even start your own business. This concludes our introduction to the INSEAD MBA. I would like to invite you to stay in touch with us, either by attending one of our global events, our online sessions, or even by just introducing yourself directly to us via the website. We look forward to hearing from you and we appreciate that you took the time today to discover more about the INSEAD MBA. Fantastic. So I'd, I'd like to uh, thank you all for your for your questions and also uh, to thank Aidan um, for, for his video presentation. Hopefully that's that's managed to to give you answers to everything from a from a program perspective. Uh, we also have a, an FAQ available online um for any, anything which is program related um thank you for having me here harris um i see we have a lot of questions in the chat and we'll try and do uh quick fire questions uh, to make the most of the last um 15 minutes yeah absolutely um i think we can start with you know a question that we saw uh quite a bit come up uh is there any difference in application between round one and round two uh or any of the rounds for for that matter if you could uh yeah yeah sure yeah, so that's a that's a great question. So there are four application rounds, um, and you can apply to any round. You'll have uh, similar chances of being accepted in in all of the rounds, which I know um, may not be the same as as some other schools. I know particularly some schools in the US um, encourage applications in the earlier rounds. 
Uh, what we tend to advise is for, for applicants to take their time on applications to really make sure that um, you're producing the best applications that you can and you submit the application which gives the best account of who you are as a person and what you can bring to the program. Um, so it's important to take time on the, on the GMAT um, to make sure that your uh, your language certifications are up to up to date and you've reached the, the minimum uh, recommended 105 level um, on the TEFL or 7.5 on the IELTS um, and to to spend adequate time on the essays. The essays are really your opportunity to to tell us more about who you are. Um, it's not um, that there's no no formula in terms of how you should approach the essays. Um, but it's very important for you to be yourself and to make sure that you make use of the, the word count um, to show um, or to, to, to highlight who you are as a person, what is important to you, and to um, explain the value that you think you can bring um, to the program uh, as well as your, your relevant experience. Yeah, so really NCIAD is looking for that holistic application and allowing candidates or candidates allowing themselves to take as much time as necessary to prepare the best possible application. Exactly, exactly. Fantastic. Um, you know, a question that uh, perhaps we get a little bit more uh, nowadays in, 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 a, in a COVID environment is the, uh, the value of the GMAT. You know, there's a lot of universities that are making a GMAT optional or GRE optional. What is INSEAD's take on on that and and the GMAT in general, how do they value the GMAT? Sure, sure. So the the GMAT was designed specifically for uh, business school. Um, so it tests the types of skills that will be useful um, to students on the program. Um, so the time that you take to prepare is is not wasted time. It's really going to help add value um, to the way that you understand the the program material and your ability to interact and to cope with the pace of uh, of classes. Um, so we understand in um, in the during the pandemic there were a lot of GMAT centres that were that were closed. Um, and uh, GMAT came up with a with an online um, option, so we, we uh, that that's perfectly fine. It's it's considered to be of equal value as a GMAT taken in a in a test center. Um, but you will need to to take uh, the GMAT or or the GRE um, when you apply to the program. Mm -hmm. um, why? Um, because student contribution and student interaction is everything, and um, without without that um, sort of level benchmark which is fair for all students um, it's much more difficult to to understand through through work experience or through essays how people would be able to engage with material and the, the quality of their contributions in class um, and that's why um, we think that it's really important to um, to keep it asking for the GMAT because it has a knock-on effect in terms of the quality of the conversations and the interactions you can have in class uh, which is going to be sort of of, of huge value to you if you know that you're at a similar level to to others on the program fantastic fantastic and I, I see a lot of commentary here and i know you know people are always worried about their own personal experience could you comment on sort of the extremes when it comes to candidate profiles so those with maybe not as much experience as the average, as well as those who have, you know, tend to have a little bit more on the higher end of experience uh, when it comes to the full-time MBA and sort of their decision-making between considering maybe the MIM for the younger candidates versus the EM for the bigger candidates. Yes, sure. No, it's a great question. And I know it's, a, uh, I've seen quite a few questions in the, in the chat um, related to, to that topic. So, most most students will be between let's say 25 and 35 years of age um, and work experience is normally between around two years work experience up to around 10 years work experience um, with people that have less than two years work experience one one option is to consider the NCAD MIM uh, because that is um, I would say it's similar in terms of the the values of the, of the school and, and and the content of the program, but it's much more pitched at people that have less less work experience. So um, the MIM is designed to help you accelerate the first part of your career, and um, you'll understand how you can add value and how you can 
um, how you can advance um, perhaps more rapidly in, in your career um, as a result of attending that program. Um, average work experience on the MBA is around five and a half years. And um, let's say typical profiles of someone that would have less work experience. It could be somebody that's been working in consulting maybe for two years, um, and maybe they've been involved in lots of different projects um, and the scope of their role and the way that they've evolved over a two year period um, should mean that in terms of their ability to contribute, they can add an enormous amount of insight into different sectors, different organizations, and they can really um, add a lot of value to discussions. Um, for someone working perhaps in the corporate sector, depending on, on their exposure um, and their evolution, it may take them more time to, um, to get the same level of uh, experience or the same level of insight. Um, so we tend to see people from the corporate sector maybe applying after three or four years, uh, with the average being about five and a half. Uh, on the upper end, um, there's no official um, sort of maximum age for the program, um, but it's important to think about um, the recruitment and whether recruitment is important to you as a student, because um, some recruiters um, have a lot of uh, profiles to choose from, um, and they may uh, declare a preference for students that may have less work experience. And perhaps if you go beyond 10 years work experience, the recruitment may become more, more challenging um, because some of the recruiters will have uh, post MBA positions in, in mind. Um, they may want to, to recruit people with similar levels of work experience, perhaps people of a similar age um, that are at a similar stage in the, their careers. And often the, the salaries and the responsibilities will be aligned with people that are um, sort of leaving uh, an MBA program. So if you have a lot more work experience, mm -hmm. um, we have um, the INSEAD Executive MBA. Um, average work experience on that program is around 13 years. Um, and that's um, it's designed for more, more mature uh, executives who have more experience. Uh, often they are, uh, they've been working over a longer period of time. Uh, their level of responsibility is likely to be, um, to be higher because of that. And in terms of life stage, um, the, the life stage will be a bit different often than the, um, the life stage for the MBA. So these can be people that are um, often they're married, they, they bought their own house, they may be quite settled in, in one location. They're not necessarily looking to move to the other side of the world to switch sector and to, uh, to really change um, the, the scope of their role. Um, so I would say if you, if you have more work experience, it's worth uh, considering um, both, both the recruitment opportunities, depending on where you think you'd like to end up, and also um, to reflect on whether the, the executive MBA would, would perhaps be a better fit for you. Um, and as um, with the MBA program, you have a, uh, an EMBA page with all of the, the relevant uh, information on that page. Yeah, and I think it's fantastic that INSEAD really op offers the opportunity for a wide berth of candidates to apply to the program that fits their kind of their model, right? Versus someone or some business school that's very MBA focused, INSEAD has kind of opened up the opportunities for a larger uh, birth of clients. So that's fantastic. Sure. And, I, and I can perhaps add for, for people that have entrepreneurship as a goal, um, if they're looking to do a startup directly after the MBA program, um, there's no reason why they can't join with more more work experience um, because they're not looking to get recruited. Um, similarly, people that may um, be returning to a family business or those people that are returning um, to a current employer, um, maybe that's less relevant as well in those cases. Mm -hmm. um, it, um, each application is is um, dealt with on a on a case by case uh, basis and. One of our aims as a school is to help you to get to where you want to go. Um, so it's important that we can fully understand what you're looking to get from the program and what you're looking to achieve um, through your essays and, and through your application. Fantastic. Uh, so we have about six minutes. I'll try to get a few more uh, busy, you know, uh, common questions in. Uh, one thing that would be great for you to touch on are the split candidate. So often you'll have individuals who you know, maybe they've, you know, it's been a few years out of school and maybe they didn't do too well in their undergraduate GPA. 
uh, but they performed you know pretty well on their GMAT and they have a decent amount of experience. And then we also have the flip where undergrad GPA is strong, but maybe the GPA or the GMAT itself isn't that strong. Could you comment on you know sort of that uh, what how they should approach their application if they should even consider the application because of that split? Of course, of course. I, th I think um, sort of. Uh, Aidan mentioned in, in the in the video there are, there are four admissions criteria and academic capacity is is makes only 25% of the overall assessment. So one, it's important that um, you're able to cope with the level of the program and with the speed of the program because we believe if you're if you're spending money to attend a program and invest in time, then it's important that you can get the value uh, from from the program. But with regard to um, GMAT versus prior experience, um, the admissions committee will look at both elements. So if you have a really strong academic background, you'll submit your transcripts from, uh, from your exams that you've taken. Um, and that will be uh, considered at the same time as, as your GMAT score. So if you're a little bit lower in the quant section of your, of your GMAT, but if you studied quant topics, and if you did really well in those exams, then um, that can really help boost uh, your overall uh, score. Uh, similarly, um, for people that have really demanding workloads, um, I know um, GMAT preparation is um, is a uh, I mean it's an additional um, uh, task for most people at the end of the day or early in the morning or in lunch breaks where they're trying to to do practice, um, and perhaps in terms of their own timeline. Um, they want to apply um, by a particular deadline. Um, and in those cases, we do understand that the GMAT score can, can suffer. Um, so it's important that we understand the whole uh, application and we understand the circumstances of the, the candidate when taking the test. Um, we've had a few, few applicants that may have had technical issues. Um, so it's important to explain um, those if, if you've had technical issues. Um, and of course, you can always retake uh, the GMAT uh, to, to get a better score. Um, and if you're going to do that, we'd recommend taking a couple of uh, a couple of months to make sure that you have enough time to improve, so that your your second score gives a, a true indication of your your overall um, potential. Fantastic! Thanks so much. So we have time, I think, for one more question, uh, Mike. Could you just maybe touch in on the career services aspect? So once individuals gain access to the MBA, how does INSEAD help uh, candidates from all aspects, whether they're going into consulting or entrepreneurship or venture capital, whatever they'd like to mm. approach? How does INSEAD support that career development throughout the MBA program? Yes, thanks. Thanks for the question, because the careers program, um, you, have, you have the academic content, but then all the way through the program, you have um, a large uh, career development team. I think we have around 80 uh, people working in the, in the career development center, and they're there to to help you as you as you go through the program. So you have a team of career coaches. Um, each person gets a personal career coach that stays with you throughout the duration of the program. And there's somebody that is going to ask you questions and to really check your, your motivations. Um, they'll ask you to do various, uh, various personality tests and to get different sets of data about yourself so that you can understand what's important to you in terms of a role, in terms of your strengths and weaknesses, in terms of the type of environment that you'd like to work uh, in. And in terms of other other priorities that you may have or um, limitations that you may have in terms of geography or in terms of um, uh, what you're looking to get from your role. So um, they're particularly useful at the, at the beginning. Um, they'll help you um, come up with a, a job search strategy and a plan. And then you'll um, start executing your plan. So they can uh, help you navigate the different career uh, resources that are available at INSEAD. One other, one other important team is the um, uh, employer engagement team, and they are sector specialists. So they're split by um, sector and also by, by region. So we have a team in, in Fontainebleau looking after recruiters in Europe and uh, opportunities for, for um, people that are largely based in Fontainebleau. And then a mirror team in Singapore that are looking after um, uh, Asia Pacific opportunities. Um, and then we have a, a small Abu Dhabi team as well for uh, for opportunities in the Middle East. 
and their their role is really to to listen to to students and what students are asking for in terms of recruiters in terms of opportunities in terms of roles and at the same time to deepen those relationships with uh, recruiters and to to understand what recruiters are looking for um, and then to um, to help market the NCR talent towards um, towards those recruiters so we can uh, find a, a good match uh, between the recruiters and the and the students. Um, it's very much a um, a team that will support you, um, but as all students are. Um, intending to take on uh, leadership roles we do expect students to own their process and the team is there to to support and to guide you um, uh, throughout the process so you have lots of i think 90 90 different careers workshops covering everything from um, sector specific workshops like workshops on consulting or tech or uh, finance um, and then there are more um, tailored workshops um, maybe workshops on how to um, how to create your your LinkedIn profile and how to make the best impact depending on the, the sector that you're going into. Um, similarly, your your other marketing materials, your CV, um, lots of pitching practice on how to demonstrate the value that you can bring to particular organizations um, and how to manage uh, when you get more than one offer at, at, at a time and uh, you then need to decide um, how you're going to negotiate between the different offers that you that you have. Fantastic. I mean, thank you so much for that information. I can see that the comments are coming, still coming in strong and fast. So I know there's a lot of interest uh, into your program. And I think this uh, the, the, um, the presentation did a great job. Uh, but again, I want to thank Nancy, who's been fantastic with the with the chat, answering all the questions and yourself as well for really taking the time to get into detail because these are all important questions. Um, okay, every, that's that's it from INSEAD. Thanks again. Appreciate you guys coming out. Uh, up next uh, on the MBA Spotlight, we will be having the um, the presentation by MIT Sloan, followed by Goy Zueta, and then at 10 a.m. Pacific, we'll have a session on how to pay for business school. Uh, thanks again, everyone. Have Thank you. Day. Thank you, Harris, and thanks to everyone at GMAC Club for preparing uh, such such great students uh, for for these programs.